Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, I will discuss about the shotgun code app and this app solves a lot of problems for free open source. You can use it. Okay. Now what problems this shotgun code helps us to solve? Suppose you are working on any code base and you are using maybe cursor or windsurf or maybe VS code plus copilot or maybe VS code plus client or root code. In that case, one common problem is the context. Okay. So if there is any dependency between the files, so sometimes it is a little bit difficult to set up the context between the file dependency or what are the packages you are using. Okay. And this shotgun code actually helps uh, to solve the, that problem. Not only that, suppose you are working working on any code base and you don't have the budget okay in that case if you face on any uh, code base okay in that case you copy that file contents and go to this cloud or this gorg and paste it there and when this llms generates the response then you copy that uh, response and manually paste that here right now most of you tell me that we are using cursor or wine server right but those who are not using the cursor or windsurf for them because to use the cursor and windsurf you have to pay monthly right and those who are not using the cursor or windsurf they can use the vs code and client but if you use the client and suppose you want to use the cloud api okay in that case you have to pay the amount right or suppose you are you want to use the gorg api then in that case also you have to pay but if you want to use their uh, their web interface, in that case, you don't have to pay any money. Suppose uh, if you are using this grog.com web interface and there you can manually co copy and paste uh, your code and get the response, right? And also you can use this cloud.ai, uh, this web interface. There also you will get some free credits daily. There also you can copy paste things. And not only this, you can uh, go to this Gemini and uh, this Google AI Studio. Here also you will get this uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro models for free uh, for the copy pasting things. Okay. But if you want to use this Gemini 2.5 Pro model directly in your client, in that case, you have to pay the money, right? So this uh, shotgun code, it actually solves that problem. How? Let me show you. So this is a simple setup that you have to do. First, I will show you that how it actually works. Then in the second part, I will show you that how to do the installation. It is a two to three minute process for the installation. Very simple process. Now, if I go to this repository, go, uh, go with this link in the description box. Okay. And uh, scroll down below. Here you see, this is the simple interface. Let me show you from my machine also. Here you see, there is a four step process, prepare context, compose prompt, execute prompt and apply patch. Okay. Now, uh, the code base that you are currently working, uh, open that in any editor. It may be VS code or cursor or windsurf. Okay. Now open that same folder inside the shotgun code also. So I have opened it already. And after you open, it will generate the project context. Here you see it has generated the project context like uh, the controllers and this model folder inside model folder. I have these, these files full project context it has right and on the left hand side you see that uh, there is a checkbox things okay now we don't need this uh, node modules so that is not there okay suppose you don't need this util files you can uncheck this but currently i am uh, I, I am uh, checking all of this okay now what i'll do i will click on this compose prompt the second step here you see that your task for AI. Now, suppose I want to add some feature. Uh, in that case, I will keep that prompt here. And also follow my cursor. There is another thing which is dev, architect, find bug and project update task. Okay. If you are solving any bug, in that case, you can uh, choose this architect or this find bug option. Okay. Now, I want to add one feature. So, in that case, I will just write that add. Um, this dark theme and uh, you see that whenever I am writing anything uh, on the right hand side here in this area it is updating that I will show you so add dark theme uh, in this code base okay and after that on the right hand side here you see that 
it has updated the full project context and also the task here you see user task add dark theme in this code base and after that uh, also this guiding principles means how it will do that things the full analysis and planning it has generated okay so how do you see all of these things and if there is any rules uh, like uh, maybe dot client rules or dot cursor rules if there is any rules are there it will follow that also currently i don't have any rules and also there is a output rules okay now this is the full uh, project context you see now what i will do i will click on this copy all see here follow my cursor there is a copy all button so cop click on this copy all so the prompt got copied in your clipboard now what i will do i will go any uh, of these llms like uh, google ai studio or this gog.com or this cloud uh, whatever i can use but uh, currently for this video purpose let me use this gmr 2.5 pro because currently it is the best and it has the long context window obviously okay so now paste it here and click on this uh, run now it will uh, give you the output and when it will give you the output then only we will go for this third step which is the execute prompt okay and then you will see the magic and in the meantime when it is working let me show you that what problem actually this shotgun uh, helps us to solve there you see that uh, this bulk bug fixing suppose you are working in any code base and uh, you have to change in 12 files they have mentioned like it can be 6 to 7 files it can be 4 to 5 files in that case what you will do you will uh, copy that 4 to 5 files content and paste it there no so there it will be very much handy and uh, so this shotgun benefit is that generate a complete snapshot so the LLM see all the usages like what are the dependencies between that uh, 4 to 5 files okay you don't have to manually copy and paste that full uh, code base or that file contents okay another thing is that large scale refactor here you see uh, LLM gets full context and returns a pass set dog generation if you want to generate the document for the uh, project sometimes uh, if anyone asks you that uh, please document this project okay that whatever is happening in this project uh, how it is working please prepare a document and give me that so in that case what you will do you, you will copy all of these uh, files from this uh, checkbox using this checkbox copy all of these files and uh, it, it, please give it to this gemini or whatever llms you are using and then llm can iterate over full source without extra api calls okay and this is the things that will help you and also there is a key features like fast tree scan and interactive include exclude list okay exclude list means uh, if you don't want this uh, any other folder you can click on this checkbox it will exclude that okay and this deterministic delimiters easy for LLMs to parse and for you to split okay and lightweight obviously cross platform it is available for windows mac os and linux also currently i am running it on windows i will show the step by step process now here you see it task got completed and it has generated this div okay not the full responses it has generated the, generated the div and this is the advantage of using this shotgun app okay so now what i will do i will go to this uh, till last and there i will copy this div and now uh, again i will go to this shotgun code app and now go to this third step which is this execute prompt okay and here you see git div output now here paste that div and what i will do uh, click on this proceed to apply it will show you that uh, how many changes are there in which files like there is currently in four files uh, there will be changes for this 693 line changes and 24 chunks now what i will do i will copy this so follow my cursor there you will find this copy and what it is currently telling that step 4 is this apply patch so currently this apply patch is not there in shotgun app so this process you have to do manually this is same very simple uh, so open this vs code and open this client extension or whatever you are using like ru code or this kilo code uh, it, it is new in the market there this kilo code okay 
you can use this kilo code agent also uh, all of these are free okay so now i am going to this client and uh, what i'll do i will paste it here and uh, for this llm i will select this api provider as this uh, gemini 2.5 flash model okay because gemini 2.5 pro is not free for the uh, api purpose so that's why i will use this gemini 2.5 flash because it can understand this deep format correctly okay so i will select the same for this act mode also here select this google gemini and uh, select this 2.5 flash and i hope uh, you know that how to get this gemini api key just go to this uh, ai studio and click on this get api key you will find one window and there create this api key i have already told you many times in my previous videos also so now save it and now press enter now you will see that it will apply that tips in my current code base here you see and uh, here you see in my current files this is the style.css it is applying that uh, that tips and uh, also it is it, it is applying in other files also so in this way it will help you to manage your code base and you don't have to pay any money okay see here uh, have i paid anyone uh, any amount i am using this uh, google ai studio this is a free version with the help of free of cost i have generated this response this deep format and now i have provided the same to this client and it is doing the changes in all of the files where it is required okay now if all of these are working fine then you are good to go to use it okay so in this way you can use this shotgun code app in your uh, client and not only this uh, client you can use it with this cursor or wine serve also suppose your limitation got exceeded in uh, cursor or wine serve uh, your plan limitation then in that case you can use the cursor but uh, in this way you can use a shotgun code plus cursor combination uh, so that you get all of the benefit beneficial now let me show you that how to install this shotgun code app now for that come to this repository and uh, just scroll down below and here you see by the way i have given this repository link in description go there scroll down below and there you will find this installation steps so what you have to do install this go so what you have to do just go to this website go or dev dl i have given this link in description so just uh, go there there that install go and download and install you will find that click on this download and uh, there you will find this linux mac and windows version uh, whatever your operating system according to that please install it okay now the next step is uh, node.js by the way this go installation is very simple whenever the software will be installed then you have to do that that uh, just next 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 and it will, it will be installed okay next is this node.js so go this go to this website node.js download and there install this latest version lts okay and there also you will find this uh, linux mac and uh, windows version according to that please install it okay now the next thing is that um, after you install this go and node.js run this command this go install blah 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 this is for the OLS. So OLS is actually a, a, a framework to run or to develop the Go application. Okay. So for that, just copy from this Go install to last. Okay. Copy this and open your any of the terminal and they are pasted like this. Here you see I have pasted it and it will run like this in this way. Okay. Now these three steps got completed. Now you have to clone this repository. So here you see I have cloned it already. Let me show you the steps. Okay. It is very simple guys. Here you see I did this git clone. Okay. After that next step is cd shotgun uh, code. Okay. Go to this, that folder. Here you see cd shotgun code. And after that, run this command go mod ti dy. Okay, copy this and paste it here and run this. 
go mod ti dui okay now the next step is you have to go to the cd front end so just execute it whatever is written in this uh, line by line just copy it and paste it simple process it will hardly take 2 to 3 minutes to do all of these things okay just write cd front end after that do this npm install and here you see uh, just do this npm install where is that yes npm install and after that click on this uh, sorry type this cd dot dot and here you see cd dot dot and after that you have to run this command wells dev and here you see i just ran it wells dev where is that well step when you run it then it will take um, one to two minutes uh, to do all of these things means it is generating the bindings installing the dependencies and compiling uh, front end it is basically the same as the npm run dev when you are doing in any react project npm run dev uh, so this well step is actually same so it will take one to two minutes to do all of these things okay now when all of that process got completed it will automatically open this window okay this shotgun app window okay and there uh, from the select project folder you can select the project and after that the all of these things are same as i have already shown you uh, in the previous part of this video so i hope you got the full idea that how to do all of these things if you found this video helpful guys don't forget to uh, like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and also don't forget to comment down below that yes i got help from this video okay so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and uh, also don't forget to watch the other videos also that i have published for you guys only